this will be a good time actually to talk about detailing tools. Uh, they're a little different. Last week we used mostly uh, these loop tools which can cut in and, and take out a lot of uh, material at a time. When you're detailing you do much you use much smaller tools. I'll start with uh, some of these loop tools with rounded edges or squared edges. You can even take these and use a little Dremel disc, you know, the cutting discs for a Dremel, and carve little notches in here, and you can use it as a, uh, as a rake. You don't see that. Look, you, yeah, we're close. You can use this, use this as a rake or as a smooth uh, tool, and uh, then we get into even smaller loop tools, which are these. These are all made by Kemper tools. This is number W21. Can we do it over here, please? Where at? Right over here. Right over here? Okay. Uh, they're all made by Kemper. This is W25, 26, and 21. These are the three that uh, I use the most. You'll go through a lot of these because it's very thin wire and on hard clay they have a tendency to break. If that happens, sometimes you can uh, jerry-rig them by adding some epoxy around, but then it, it loses a lot of its flexibility, so it kind of defeats the purpose. And there's another uh, loop tool. I believe these are all, uh, can't read that label anymore. But I get most of my sculpting tools from a store called Kitcraft in Studio City, and I think they have them all available online. Or you can just go right to Kemper Tools, Sculpture House, uh, Berman Industries. I think they have this stuff too. This is just another loop, loop tool with a little more pointed, uh, a heavier wire. Use this for, you know, for digging in wrinkles. Uh, here's another tool which is a blackhead squeezing tool that I got from some, from the drugstore. It's just for pressing on, you know, they use it for, derm dermatologists use it, but it's very stiff wire and it's great for, uh, for cutting in. And then uh, assorted uh, wax tools, which are very heavy duty stainless steel tools with sharpened edges around the loop. So they cut in really well. And this is especially good, what I used on this side of the head for carving in uh, the deeper wrinkles on the neck. There's a, there's a pointed shape, there's rounded shape, they have square, rectangular shapes. Uh, but the pointed and the rounded one I use the most and, and it really will take out a lot of material in one swipe. So these are, these are also great for detailing. Uh, and then the smallest one that I use, it comes to a point, and it's just a little wire, triangular shaped wire. And this is, I use this probably for 90% of my detail work. It's great for, for carving in scales. Uh, for doing your, your wrinkle patterns. What I like about it is it's a loop tool so you, it takes out the material rather than using uh, just a pointed tool where it's just pushing the material around and then you've got a bunch of a lot more cleaning up to do on the edges. But they're both, uh, you know, if you can't find that little loop tool these will you know, any other tool, pointed tool, will work almost as good. And those are the basic uh, tools that I use. We'll get in a little later uh, with some solvents and how to clean up, uh, clean up the work. Uh, I've made these also, which I've used in the past. These are just, uh, it's just super sculpy. 
that I rolled out into a, you know, a cylinder shape, cut it, and then when it was baked and, and cool, I used a Dremel tool with a round tip and carved in all these little scale patterns. So then you would just take this and press it in to the clay and you get a little scale pattern. Uh, it's good if you're doing a, like if I was doing this whole body, I would probably use this a lot, but it tends to look uh, manufactured, a little uh, non-generic, little, uh, but it, it is useful. And sometimes though the clay is very sticky. So uh, you just take a little saran wrap. I'll just do a little piece here. Just take a little saran wrap, put that on the clay, and then do the do this. But uh, it's easy to make. It's a little time consuming to do all these little holes. But but uh, if you're doing a lot of material and you don't want to sit there and sculpt one scale at a time that small, I would recommend it. We might even use this a little bit underneath here, and you can see. Uh, you can see the pattern here, but uh, and then I made another one here that's even, even smaller scales. This one's kind of. I used to use these a lot when I was working with Sculpey, making dinosaur model kits, because on Sculpey it doesn't stick. Oops, you didn't need the, uh, and that's also what happens. You lose a lot of these, so. Um, but you can see it, it definitely has a kind of cool scale texture. It works for small, very small scales. For big scales, it, it doesn't. You end up having to fill in all the, you end up putting scales over scales and then they don't look like scales anymore. Um, and then uh, also for the detail work, the stippling sponge comes in very handy for cleaning up a lot of the little clay crumbs and stuff that get on there. You can also use you can also use these uh, brushes you can get at the hardware store. Uh, I cut the cut the end off of this one so it's a little stiffer. Uh, these are great when you're using solvents, alcohol, or uh, I don't tend to use alcohol too much because it, it it dries the clay out. So I use a, a turpenoid odorless terpenoid and uh, this works great but you have to be very careful because it will it really is aggressive in dissolving the clay so <clears throat> another thing that comes in very handy let's say uh, uh, we have some uh, let's say we have some scales here that we are carving in and it's, the clay is getting too soft. I use this duster spray for, you know, for electronics, you spray to you know, clean the dust off. Now be very careful with this, but you wanna turn it upside down and just give it a blast of that and that will, you know, this is like 150 below zero or something. Don't spray it on your hands or in your face or on somebody because it'll cause a, serious burn freezer burns and then you have uh, and then you have a nice cold clay that's very hard that you can then take your loop tool and just clean off those edges just to make it look a little more natural and less carved in <clears throat> 